Financially, uh, I'm doing the best I've ever done in my whole entire life. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> I live alone, I pay my rent on time, I haven't stolen toilet paper in over a year. Right? Yeah, thank you so much. A year ago, I've been casing this joint up for a little bit of teepee for meepee, but not today. Okay? Today, I have so much toilet paper money, I buy packs of four. I'm down to two, I'm buying a whole new pack of four. Do you understand how much toilet paper money that is? Like, you're never coming to my apartment and wiping and wondering, right? Because I put it out there, I display it. You get in there, you're in a toilet paper museum. It's like pop, 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 and you're comfortable. But then conversely, if I'm in a fancy bathroom, like I'm in a nice restaurant, and there's a basket of free tampons, I'm taking all the tampons. I'm taking every single last tampon in this basket. I'm bringing my purse into the bathroom, I'm lowering it down to the basket, and I'm shoveling them in there like they're horse snacks. And I have a very hungry horse at home. I'm taking a horse snacks amount of tampons home with me, because when you're the cradle of life, the party don't stop. And they don't tell you that in health class, do they? They just throw like a cool starter pack at you with some nifty tampoons and a surfboard-like pad, like it's a cool thing that's gonna happen once in a while and then never again, but it keeps on going. <laughs> keeps on going. And you're young when you get that starter pack too, right? You remember it? You're like 11, 12. But here's the thing about me. I didn't get my personal period until I was 17 years old. Uh, well, I don't think you're a doctor. Uh... <laughs> Uh, that was a very verbal reaction for someone with out uh, a practice, but I, people, sometimes that people do say like, what does that mean? I don't know, but I do think it means that my eggs are still super fucking fresh. What's for breakfast? My fresh eggs, right? Yeah. So I didn't have my period till I was 17, but it didn't stop me from lying to everybody about in fact having my period. It was the most well orchestrated lie of my life. Okay, like I would stuff my backpack full of pads. So anytime I took a pencil out, pads would go everywhere. And I'd be like, oh no, my pads have fallen everywhere. Somebody help me pick all my pads up. I don't have enough hands for all the pads I need. I'm walking around the locker room. I'm like, does anybody need a pad? Nobody asked. I was spending my allowance money in the feminine hygiene aisle on things I didn't need, on things I didn't understand. One time I bought a value pack of douches. Cause I was like, this has gotta be something. <laughs> it's not in here for no reason. Turns out it is. Nobody needs to douche. Vaginas are self-cleaning. And I have to say, the funniest part about being an adult who now bleeds on a regular basis <laughs> is anytime I hear a man say, ugh, periods are gross. Cause it's like, Like, you were almost a period. <laughs> Do you understand that? Do you under... Think of me before you go to bed, okay? Do you understand how close you were to being that? You're exactly one sperm away from being that soaking wet tampon you're so afraid of. <laughs> and periods are gross? Fuck you! You know what I've never done with my period? I've never not once caught it in a gym sock and left it on the ground for two weeks. <laughs> I've never shot my period off into somebody's belly button, okay? Periods are our periods are so fucking fresh and so tidy, comparatively speaking. All that we do to keep it sopped up and hidden from you, there, there, there's, no, there's, no, there's no special light that exists <laughs> to see where a young girl has smeared her period around her bedroom. Y'all would be finger painting with your sperm if there wasn't someone around to be like, don't do that. <laughs>